just all the things that it takes to be a great corner and be a consistent corner and be able to play on our football team. Um, I, I actually had no idea we were supposed to even play Oklahoma. I just knew that we were supposed to play UT Martin first game of the year, and I'm I'm genuinely excited to play them because you know coming into that first game they're a pretty good football team, and um, we look forward to hosting them at home. Gone up against Rob Thomas and Dominic Love a little bit more practice. What do they bring to the table? They both of those guys just add, they add more explosiveness to the offense. You know. Uh, already to a super explosive wide receiver group, there's just more fuel to the fire, basically. That first game, 6 p.m. kickoff, I guess you've only played in one night game at Sanford. What, what's that going to be like to be between the edges under the bright lights? It's going to be great. Uh, so, like you said, my last night game was my freshman year against uh, South Carolina. So, just to be, just to see the uh, the red lights and stuff like that again, it's going to be, it's, I'm going to really enjoy that. Uh, I see. I see a lot of guys that's just, you know, just taking taking turns, just being like the vocal leaders. You know, we have guys that are on on every facet, like whether it's the D line, the linebackers, or the DBs that are just being vocal leaders out out there. Because you know, it takes it takes all eleven of us to communicate essentially. And then, so just having all eleven guys just buy in and just being able to communicate, it all it'll match up to just that one energy that Nolan brought as well. Kirby mentioned that 17 of the 20 guys from your recruiting class stuck around in Athens. What do you think is the special DNA trait of the group that wanted to stick around in that program? Um, I would just say just guys being connected, honestly. You know, just guys wanting to be around each other and just become better together. Kamar, speak to the leadership in the locker room. Your voice to your guys. I mean, I know it's a lot of stuff, a lot of distraction, a lot outside. No, you specifically, how do you communicate and how do you motivate and inspire your guys? So I would say basically I'm, I'm whenever I think of myself as a leader, I think of myself as an energetic guy because I'm just a naturally energetic person. So, you know, I try to bring that jovial, you know, kind of kind of feel to the locker room. You know, sometimes when everything's, you know, kind of harsh, I kind of like try to lighten the mood and stuff. But, you know, still at the end of the day, make sure everyone knows that things is business at the end of the day. But, you know, we have a lot of guys that, you know, just try to bring the right energy to the, to the locker room. And it, and it, and it's, it spreads like wildfire. Going into last season, you were competing for a starting job. This year, you're one of three representatives. What's the biggest difference for you, um, you know, from year two to year three? I would say just trying to take this, the next step, honestly. You know, just going from step one to step two, and that's becoming a leader and becoming a, a more vocal guy on this on this on this team. And then while doing that, still applying that same hunger and aggression that I still had whenever I was first coming in trying to get on the field. How do you handle expectations that are within the locker room or from outside people? I, guess, outside um, I would say expectations. Uh, you, it's you have to look at it as a, as either like something that's good or bad. And I just think that if people are expecting you to do something, then that means that you have the potential to do it. So I mean, just why not put your foot, your best foot forward, and do it? You have a new quarterback this year, Carson Beck. Tell us talk, talk about your new quarterback. Um, so uh, we. We do have new quarterbacks, and um, I say that those guys that are uh, in the quarterback room, all three of them, you know, they're just they're just guys who are super composed. Uh, they never waver, you know. At practice, you know, on the defense, obviously, we, we like to talk a lot of smack. We like to do a lot of stuff on defense, and you know, they they never waver. Those guys are coachable. They're they're composed, and um, they're doing a really good job of you know, man, in the offense.